Today I'll show you how you can easily create some uh, scale details for your truck or car or boat or whatever. I'm using a piece of masking tape to make the template for the first Darien parts. There's several ways you can do this, but I like to use uh, some thin sheets. This is 0.5 millimeter, attaching the template and uh, cutting along it. It's time for a test fit and then um, reshaping it uh, so it fits accurately. When satisfied, I'll uh, soften it up with um, iron and uh, bend it into shape. When the shape is correct, I'll uh, laminate uh, two more parts to build it up and to uh, keep the shape. Laminating several parts it's much easier to get the complete part to, to keep its curvature. So. The glue is uh, sort of uh, dissolving the plastic so it, you can also uh, it makes the plastic softer, so you can shape it, the complete part, later. Trace up the shape for uh, for the next sheet that will uh, be the start of the thing here that holds the mirror. This will also have a bend to it, uh, and I will achieve that by uh, laminating.
and then we'll start with the mirror itself. I'm using uh, one of the other mirrors as a template and uh, just cutting it out. And this is where uh, too little thinking uh, had me uh, making a mistake so that the mirror itself uh, came out uh, too big. So I should have uh, removed more uh, material. The mirror will be built of up, up of uh, two pieces of a uh, one millimeter thick styrene sheet. When you cut in uh, styrene sheets, there will be uh, some ridges along the cut. So I have to remove that before laminating. some shaping and fine-tuning uh, of the mirror. And some uh, sanding. the edge of the uh, mirror I'm building up with a couple of layers of uh, very thin styrene string and to make the bends around the corners good I'm um, gluing all the way up because as I said earlier the glue will um, will dissolve the plastic and make it easier to bend. And then I just uh, follow it around the edge. trying to be very accurate so that the edges meet up uh, perfectly.
And while the glue sets, I'm uh, starting to roughly shape the uh, holder. Just scraping the edges uh, with my knife. And this is when uh, stuff uh, starts to look like uh, parts and not only plastics glued together. And then I'm laminating another uh, strip around the edge. When the glue have set, it's uh, time to shape the mirror roughly with the knife and then the rest with the uh, sandpaper Of that sanding part. That's where the magic happens. And then I'll uh, finish uh, shaping the, the holder. Of course, I have to make the little thingy that connects the thingy to the other thingy. Another test fit to get the correct position of the mirror. If you want to know what this project is all about, then check out this video up here. And I'll see you in the next one.